Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a favorites video. Um, I missed last month's favorites. So this month is jam packed. So if you'd like to see what I've been loving, please keep watching. Okay, so I was super excited when I saw this was launching in the drugstore. This is the new Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Um, of course I had to buy it and try it because I love the Matte and Poreless foundation by Maybelline. This does not disappoint. First, I bought the number 20, which is amazing for when I self tan, but when I'm not self tan, I do like the number 10. Um, the powder is really silky, it's really smooth. Um, I love baking with it and then brushing the product away. It leaves a flawless smooth canvas. And I've noticed the girls that I work with, um, they've been also using it and I feel like their skin does look a lot smoother. So I feel like this is a great powder. It gives you some coverage and it's also very smoothing. So I highly suggest this and it's so affordable. Um, I got them on sale at the drugstore for $6 in Canada. That's a steal. Especially in Canada, we get ripped off. I have like a couple products from Maybelline. So the next one is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. This stuff is amazing. Um, it is gold, so if you're really fair, it might be too gold for your skin. But if you are tanned or have like a medium complexion, this stuff looks amazing. Um, I love putting it on my cheekbones. Also, I've been using it as an eyeshadow and it's absolutely stunning. It is pricier, I think in Canada, in the drugstore, it's almost $17, not on sale, which is super expensive, but the quality of this and the pigmentation and the texture and everything about it is so beautiful and I highly suggest this. And I saw on their Instagram that I, I feel like they're coming out with more shades of this. So and I think they're lighter shades. So I'm really excited to see that. Um, I've also been using the Maybelline Brow Precise lately. I did a review on this like a while ago, like uh, probably a year ago. Um, it's a really weird kind of thing. So this is what the brush looks like. And I kind of did a review and then I basically never touched it again, but I was on a photo shoot and I was doing the model's makeup and she was like raving about this and pulled it out of her bag. And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I have this product. I didn't think I liked it, but the way it looks on her eyebrows, it just creates fibers to your brow. And when you brush them up, it gives you that perfect model eyebrow. So I was like, well, damn, I'm gonna retry this. So I went home the next day, I reused it and I've been really loving it. I like to use it before I do any foundation because it's kind of a little bit messy. So I like to apply this and then do my eyebrows and then do the foundation. But this stuff, if you are sparse and you really want more volume and fibers to your brows, I would definitely suggest this product. And then to go along with my brow, I've been loving the Benefit Cabrow. I've had this again for the longest time and I never used it because it is more time consuming and I used to just use the eyebrow pencils, the regular pencils, because they're really easy to use. But um, I don't know, I just brought this out again and I've been using my own brush because I find that the brush they kind of give is a little bit like, I don't know, it's like, it's really shitty. I find, but uh, I've been using my own brush with it, but the way my brows have been looking, I've been really like arching them out, defining them more. I really absolutely love this stuff. So highly suggest the Benefit Cabrow. All the Benefit products are unbelievable. Like I cannot say anything bad about them. They do a good brow product. Okay, next I have something from this company that I never even heard of before. It's called Luna Nectar, and I did get this in my Maple Bloom box. Um, it's a natural eyelash and brow serum. It helps their eyelashes to grow, conditions them, nourishes them. So I've said this before, but I cannot use the regular eyelash growers on the market. They really burn my eyes and they irritate my eyes. So I've used a couple of them, but I stay away from them now because they just don't work with my eyes. But this one, it's so nice. It's really nourishing. It doesn't burn, it doesn't sting. I've noticed that my eyelashes have got a little bit longer, and but I've, what I've noticed is I've been using it a lot in the outer sections of my brows because I have really full brows in the beginning and then at the end, they're really, really thin. So I've been using it a lot just on these sections here and I have been finding that my brows are looking thicker. So I actually think this works. It is pricier, it is $75. A lot of the eyelash drawers on the market are around that price, but I would repurchase this in a heartbeat. I think it's working and it's very gentle. If you have sensitive eyes, I think this would work for you. Okay, so I've talked about this company once before. Um, they sent me a package and I'd never really heard of them before, but like as I've been doing my research, they are from the face shop. You can get it and now they're in malls and it's called the face shop and they're, the brand is from Korea. And I'm all about Korean skincare. I've talked about, I feel like Koreans really know their skincare. So, um, I was using their toner and their cleansing water because I was a little bit skeptical on the serum and the face cream, but I saw that Desi Perkins was using this cream. And I guess they sent her one too. So I'm like, damn. And she was raving about it. She was talking about how great it was. So I'm like, okay, if she's using this, I wanna try it. 
I busted it out. So this is the Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. And then this is the serum. I've been using both of these together. This stuff is so good. Um, it's super hydrating and it doesn't break you out. So with a lot of creams, if they're too hydrating, they'll break you out. This one is more like a gel cream, but it gives you that hydration that you need. And same with the serum. The serum is basically a water serum. It's 98% water based. It's really lightweight. It absorbs. You don't feel sticky after. It doesn't break me out. I don't feel weird. Like this stuff is amazing. It's really good. The price points on them are kind of like a... I think this, this retails for about 50 bucks, so it's a little bit pricier than like an average kind of skin cream, but I really do like this, and I love how they list on the, all their packaging on the front what is in it and what's not in it, and it's good for your skin, so I really like how they list that. I feel like they're not hiding anything, and um, the scent of the creams is very natural. It almost smells kind of earthy, but it's not floral or anything. It just almost smells like a clean smell. It kind of reminds me of something in my childhood, but I don't, really don't, I can't put Put it to my mind but this stuff has been awesome i have two products from vichy one is the normaderm cleansing mattifying foam and this stuff the normaderm line usually is for somebody with acne or something with suffering with oily skin and breakouts i don't really have that problem i do i am definitely oily person but i've left this in my shower I, I use it every night usually when i take a shower and this stuff is so great it helps control your oil it is not drying and it really foams and it really cleans and i really highly suggest this they do have the cleansing gel which i do find a little bit drying for me so i'm all about this mattifying foam i find it actually is controlling my oil i would only use this if you're breaking out or if you are of a combination to oily skin but this stuff is amazing and then this stuff is so good this is the idelia peeling um I don't know, night night peeling care? The Radiant Activating Night Peeling Care. Okay, so you put this on a cotton pad, you wipe it over your face, it helps exfoliate. It is like a gentle kind of peel. If you've ever done a peel before, they can be harsh. This one is very, very, very like, it's for sensitive skin. It doesn't irritate me. I don't get super red. I'm not like, I just, I feel comfortable after I apply it. I can do this every single night. It is gentle enough to do every night. Um, but I usually only do it every like second or third night, but this stuff is unbelievable and I highly suggest this. I've been really liking this Calgon. I think this is hilarious because you know how they have those stupid body sprays that they used to have in elementary school? Well, anyways, I tried this scrub. It was on sale. I think it was like $6.99. It was huge. And I wanted a scrub that was more sand textured because I don't like the body scrubs that are like beads that don't do anything so the texture that i like is more of a sandy texture and this to me looked like a sandy texture so i bought it it's a mineral exfoliating scrub it has vitamin e collagen and pearl powder but first of all it smells unbelievable it almost smells like the nicest smelling conditioner that you've ever smelled that's kind of what it reminds me of but the way that it exfoliates it's very sand like and it just really gets off the dead skin and i like it because you get a huge tub you get 24 ounces and it's cheap so that to me is like bonus and bonus and bonus and let's talk about this deodorant so i've been trying out a natural deodorant i also got this in my maple bloom box um i was terrified to try a natural deodorant i had a really bad experience once with once with a deodorant and i burnt my armpits it's a long story i've explained it before but anyways ever since then i've been really nervous so they sent me this vanilla and mint deodorant and i was like vanilla and mint like who the hell wants vanilla and mint under their armpits i don't know i tried it it is good it actually it smells like vanilla and mint and i actually do really like it um this works just as good as my dove spray which is an antiperspirant so i still smell like i don't know what's wrong with me i have stinky armpits okay like i don't know i can use any deodorant and my armpits still smell don't know but my armpits smell the same if i use this or if i use the dove and the dove is an antiperspirant and i know it's probably not good for you to put aluminum under your armpits so you know what if i'm gonna pick between the two i would definitely pick the natural choice so i'm going with this one i really do like it i know it's pricey i think it's like 17 dollars and that it definitely is pricey for deodorant but when it comes down to it don't you want to just be free from chemicals i don't think aluminum in your armpit is a good idea just saying and I'll talk about one last product. So this is the um, creamy, extra creamy coconut miracle oil body wash. It has zero sulfates and I don't know, the reason why I'm talking about this is because it smells like a coconut dream and it's really hydrating and that's why I'm telling you about it. And it's supposed to be good for your skin. It's not tested on animals. And it just smells like a tropical vacation. So if you're looking for a tropical vacation body wash, try it out. It is more pricier than um, other body washes, but you also do get 577 mil, which is bigger than the normal body wash. 
but still it is very nice and I highly suggest it. Okay, so this will be the end of my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.